Hey, you can't eat that just yet, but you can have some after you come with me on my women's health fridge tour. Come on, let's go. As you can see here, <laughs> I have all my hot sauce. There's a whole shelf dedicated to them. And I've actually been using gochujang a lot lately. It tastes so wonderful. All you need is like a tablespoon of it. And it is got this really tangy, fermented and spicy flavor. So I really recommend adding that in. It's something new that I've started doing, but I really love it right now. Next up, I am... I'm not embarrassed anymore, I've owned it. I'm a ketchup girl. From a child, I used to have it with my curries, with my dals, with my uh, Indian flatbreads. My mum would be so mad. She'd make a beautifully delicious meal and I'd always want to throw ketchup over it. But I found out how much sugar is in normal ketchup and so I buy the no added sugar ones. <laughs> so there's a few brands that I really like and they do them pretty well. And then um, this is something that I, well, I used to bring it with me from London. Every time I would go back, I would bring it back to LA or New York with me. It is Coleman's Mint Sauce. Now you might say, what am I gonna do with a mint sauce? It's tangy, it's refreshing, and I add it into yogurt. And when you have Indian spicy food, you usually have yogurt on the side. And the mint addition just adds another flavor and it just really makes it feel fresh and delicious. Up here we have Juni. Now Juni is actually my drink. Me and my husband, we created it together. It's an adaptogenic tea brand. It's really great. We've spent so long trying to perfect the flavor with it being zero grams of sugar as well. So I thought I'd share this with you guys too because it's like a little baby. So these are pepperoncinis and they are a mild chili pepper but really tangy. I put them on top of everything from my breakfast avocado toast, on top of hummus, on top of my salads, literally everything. They go with everything, they're so versatile. Okay, this may not need to be in the fridge, I never know, but I put it in the fridge and it is hummus and tahini. I mean, all of these are my favorite things, but hummus is something I have every single day. And the tahini I use in my dressings, adding in tahini into anything that requires cream. It doesn't just add a creaminess, but it also adds a rich flavor and taste as well. Next up, I wanna show you, oh, you know, it's taken so long for me to find a really good vegan yogurt. And so um, I have Kite Hill. It is my favorite brand for vegan yogurt. It's so great. And it's made with almond milk, so it's just, really good for you and just has minimal ingredients. Yogurt is a base for so many things, whether it's marinades, whether it's your morning breakfast granola and you want a bit of a yogurt on top. There's so many things you can use yogurt for and so it's really nice to have a staple. I'm gonna actually be using the yogurt for the yogurt and mint sauce that's gonna go on top of my uh, recipe later, so I'm gonna put that aside also. Next up, I'm gonna get into my drawer of vegan protein because everyone always says you can't get enough protein as a vegan, but guess what you can? I have between 100 to 130 grams of protein every single day. So I've been looking at all the different types of proteins I can get just to keep my food exciting and, and varied too. Of course I have extra firm tofu. I'm sure you've all seen that, but I'm gonna show you actually a recipe at the end of this of how you can make tofu taste absolutely delicious um, because sometimes it seems to be boring, but I'm here to tell you it's not. So um, definitely stay tuned for the recipe that's gonna come with this. I'm gonna put it aside. I don't usually keep leftovers. If I make too much food, I try to give it out to someone on the day. But I do have something in here, just in case. Because sometimes if I don't have time to make lunch or dinner, I like having a backup because otherwise I go to my snack drawer and I eat crisps instead. So this is pea protein. So you have it dry and then you rehydrate it. But I just literally saute it with peppers, a bit of cabbage, and I use it as a taco filling. I think we're done with the condiments right now and I'm gonna take you to the nutritious part of my fridge. So I have different sections in this fridge. I love how organized this fridge is and the different sections really help with that. I have my herb section. So in that I have everything from my fresh bay leaves, game changer. Any fresh herbs are always gonna be better for you than dried herbs. And they contain so many vitamins and minerals and I always keep my fresh herbs stocked because in Ayurveda it talks about how fresh herbs actually help to purify your blood. They have so many incredible properties that not only make your food taste incredible, they also help to detox your body, purify your blood, and provide you with really rich nutrients too. So whether it is thyme, or I have these little micro rainbow herb mix, which has everything from micro cilantro to parsley, arugula, broccoli sprouts in there. I also have fresh parsley, which is usually my go-to herb, and cilantro. Cilantro is the best herb, but apparently some people um, eat it and it tastes soapy, which is so sad because most Indian food has a lot of cilantro in it. 
Um, I'm fortunately not one of those people. And we're actually going to be using cilantro in the recipe for later too. So I'm going to leave that aside. Now I have different types of chilies. We've got jalapeno peppers, serrano chilies. And then lastly, I have, I usually use Indian chili peppers. They're really small and really spicy. I often don't find them unless I go to an Indian store. So I use Thai peppers instead. So I've uh, started using mushrooms a lot more recently. One, because of protein and so many incredible health benefits that they have. So I have a mixture of, these are just normal everyday mushrooms. But then I wanted to try something different. Lion's mane mushroom. They're really weird and furry. I'm a bit scared of using them, honestly. Ugh. But I've seen so many amazing recipes where you can cut them up and make them into these like barbecue steaks. And I'm gonna test the recipe out. So hopefully you'll see one of those on my page soon. And then, oh, one thing I love doing when I go shopping is buying a variety of fruits and vegetables. And the way you know it's varied is by the colors. So a great way of knowing you've got a balanced diet is by the different colors that are on your plate. And so usually every week, I'll think about the different colors that I'm buying, whether it's you know my greens having kales or spinach, reds, I can buy red bell peppers, yellows, I'll have make sure I've got lemons in the fridge. You know, there's just so much variety, but make sure you don't go to the same vegetables every single time that you shop. Got some blueberries for my antioxidants. I usually put these onto my breakfast in the morning. I just like having them as little snacks during the day as well. They end up curbing my sugar cravings. So sometimes instead of reaching for a cookie, I'll reach for some blueberries and my body thanks me. For it but also then I might reach for the cookie afterwards <laughs> so we're on to the last drawer in my fridge and this is where I have the cruciferous vegetables the ones with a little fiber in them so I have my cauliflower my broccoli but I'm gonna pull out two things that we are gonna be using for this recipe that's coming up we're gonna be using good old cabbage I use this as an alternative to onion. I'm gonna show you how later. Um, onions and garlic is something that I actually don't cook with, which is a surprise to many people. But for a lot of people, it causes irritation in the gut when you eat it too much. So um, I try and avoid it. I use um, different things to, there's a spice I wanna show you guys called asafoetida or hing, which will be used in, in sync with this to create something that looks and tastes exactly like onions, which you'll be surprised about. And then I'm gonna use good old iceberg lettuce. I used to be against iceberg lettuce. I used to think it was a boring lettuce that should never be eaten. But when paired with the right thing, it can be absolutely delicious. So let's go make this recipe uh, and I'm gonna show you exactly what we're making. So we're gonna be making a recipe from my cookbook, Joyful. And we're gonna be making my tofu tikka stuffed pitas. Now, this is one of my go-to recipes for a lunch where I want it to be fast, but still nutritious, high in protein and balanced. So we've got a range of veggies, tofu, and lots of spices. I love using spices because what is life without spice? So the base of this is extra firm tofu. We're gonna press it down and then we're gonna shred it up. Next up for the veggies, we have a bit of cabbage. This is the onion substitute I was telling you guys about. Bell pepper. And then I like a bit of spice. So I'm using jalapeno peppers, but you can use any spicy peppers that you like. And my fresh herb, cilantro, that's gonna be the garnish on the top. And then I'm using iceberg lettuce. I love the crunch that it has. It doesn't provide too much flavor, but adds a lot to the texture. We're gonna make the marinade from tomato paste, vegan yogurt, we've got paprika, garam masala, turmeric, and asafoetida. And then I'm gonna be using avocado oil. Avocado oil is the best oil to use with high heat. And that's about it, really. And there you have it, a super easy, nutritious meal. I'm gonna try this out now and see if it is actually as good as I think it is. But don't forget to do your prayer of gratitude just before you eat. It makes such a difference to the way that you enjoy your meal. Let's dig in. This is really good. I'm so excited for you to try it. If you want this recipe, you can check out in my new book, Joyful. It is packed with plant-based nourishing recipes just for you.